CR Centre to interview a company which I've been really excited about for a long time now. Sleepwalk Collective are here with karaoke. Their show, which on the face of things is just that, it's, it's a karaoke. There's music, there's people with microphones, there's people reading words out loud. But what becomes painfully apparent with the show is that the personas that are on stage cannot deviate from the words or actions that are projected. They're a company that makes work between uh, here and Spain, and I've managed to track them down at their temporary home at Battersea Arts Centre, so let's go in and talk to them. Hello. Hello. Uh, thank you for having me uh, to invite me to your new home here. Um, how have you been finding it, the living BSC? It's great. great. It's really nice being able to just kind of roll out of bed and go and do the <laughs> show every day. And because it's a three week run, which is the longest we've ever done a run of a show, um, it makes a big difference yeah. being not having to worry about travelling back from school from the theatre. It's a really nice mood here and it's really calm, so yeah. You're living with Theatre Czar at the moment, yep. uh, a 10 person Polish yeah, company. Yep. I think it's more like 16. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is <laughs> no, it just okay. that it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I think it is about around 16. I think it about the new a, show. Yeah, but, but not, not all of them, of them are yeah, staying yeah, here. Yeah. Um, no, it's great. It's great yeah, to yeah. be able to share the the building, the home, with, with other yeah. companies and artists. It's, it's great. Yeah. Uh, and the show you're here with is karaoke. Yeah. Which, um, on the face of things, is basically just a just a karaoke. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what was it that particularly appealed to you about that format? I mean, the honest answer is the process took about about five minutes in the shower on holiday with my parents a couple of years ago. I just suddenly went. I just suddenly thought, ah, oh, karaoke could be a really funny title for a show. Oh, you could do a whole show which is karaoke. That was the whole initial thought process, um, and. Uh, then a couple of months later, we kind of let that idea sit for a bit. And then a couple of months later, we did the first bit of testing. We kind of initially thought oh, it'd be interesting if you have something where you're reading um, and hearing all the text at exactly the same time. And we kind of got interested in projected text as well for a while. Um, it's, it's the initial thing we're trying to get is some kind of a format or a mechanism which. Um, will kind of suggest what the material for that show should be. So this one it was, okay, the whole show is going to be a karaoke machine, we can read it from everything off there. The previous show, Amusements, was we knew all the audience were going to be wearing wireless headphones and that Yada wasn't going to move at all. Um, so, uh, and it took us a long time in both those cases to really go, okay, this is going to be the language of the show. But then the initial process is usually really fast because um, it, it all becomes about, you know, if, if that structure is strong enough it will offer uh, and and sort of suggest loads of possibilities right from the very beginning so a lot of thematically a lot of stuff comes straight away from that um, and uh, yeah actually in both cases I think real core bits of the material have become maybe in just a couple of the first couple of days working on them. We've been interested in projected text and uh, yeah written like text as an object yeah. for a long time and I think it's possible that that happened because of touring internationally and having to subtitle shows and wanting to make sure that that was part of the work rather than I'm just subtitling this piece, sorry. You know? <laughs> and so in this case, yeah, it was great to play with that, you know, to kind of take it to, to the limit. So it's actually quite interesting that one of the drawbacks that you have with showing international work is actually something that was kind of like ended up being a springboard yeah, 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 for yeah. your own new projects. Mm. That's totally true. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it wasn't your idea in the shower. <laughs> no, yeah, that was probably, yeah. That's totally true. I'm the one it was actually, yeah. that's probably why it's more in yeah. my head. But um, That was actually, yeah, because yeah. no, the best time we ever really got that was we did a show in Italy and um, it was a in a really nice space and we had this big back wall and we had projection already in the show and then we just projected really big all of the tech of the show was in English so we projected Italian subtitles about a metre above Yala's head the whole way through the show and it looked really beautiful and we just sort of really mm -hmm. liked it aesthetically and it was, you know, it, was a really, it was a good show anyway it was a mm -hmm. really good audience so we kind of came out of it feeling like it was uh, like it might be something interesting yeah yeah <laughs> Well, yeah, this is the second part of a trilogy, yeah. Yeah. and they're exploring pleasure and boredom. Yeah. What is it particularly about these concepts that you think are relevant to a contemporary um, audience? I think, well, it's partly the you know the idea that boredom is kind of the ultimate you know maybe cardinal sin of the uh, of 
of, of the modern age. I think I'm interested in, you know, we've got access to so much internet gratification that it doesn't feel like anyone's necessarily happier than they were before. So what what is pleasure really, and and what does it mean to be? Um, you know, maybe pleasure is something which is quite complicated, and maybe boredom is something which will be quite complicated as well. And also, particularly, if you're making entertainment, which essentially we are. Um, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Some yeah. may yeah, say yeah, that we're not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's fundamentally what it is, it's entertainment. And, mm. uh, and so those are the, you know, those, really, those are maybe the most interesting things to kind of scrutinise within that framework of, you know, this is entertainment. Thank you.